afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, on this first day of the tenth month. Good evening to welcome to the District of Chetwood Council. I'm now calling to order the regular council meeting. Please rise for the opening statement. As we gather today to conduct the business of the District of Chetwood, we do so knowing that we are privileged to serve the citizens of this community and we shall endeavor to conduct our business in their best interest. Thank you. I'd like a motion to adopt the agenda. So moved. Favor? Opposed? Carried. Minutes of the regular council meeting held on September 4. So moved. Sorry. Any discussion? In favor? Opposed. Carried it. We have a delegation, Chetland International Chainsaw Carving Championship Society. Yes, please. And please speak directly into the microphone. There we go. Perfect. <clears throat> Mr. Mayor and Council, uh, I'd like to thank you for uh, accepting delegation from the Chapman International Chainsaw Carving Championship Society. I know that uh, we've recently already had a delegation before you, no more than two months ago with the uh, year end of last year's wrap up, as well as our financials at that time, so I won't go into that again this year, nothing's changed so far other than we've had our AGM since our last uh, get together with Chamber and Council. Uh, this year we have a new executive committee on the society, we have uh, eight members in total uh, forming our board this year. Uh, I'll be, myself will be, Chris, Chris Larson will be as president this year, uh, along with uh, Vicki Embry as my vice president, and my secretary, Laura Thomas, and treasurer, Wilma Richardson, for my executive council, on the, uh, on the executive of the chamber, as well as we added two new, new uh, board members this year, and Ryan Pierce and Jeannie Brock, and lost a couple of our previous board members, as does happen throughout the boards. So we're happy with our eight members, and that's gonna be plenty enough for our going forward and planning this year as we go forward. As far as that goes, we've already started uh, looking forward into fundraising and have planned a Halloween dance coming up on the 27th at the Horse Barns that the, uh, the directorship will be hosting and hosting the bar and hosting and doing the fundraising as we do every year. It's a... Uh, it's a great, uh, great looking board this year as, as uh, a few of us have been there since the beginning. We're all charter members of the society. The uh, executive council is all uh, charter members as well as two other directors also being charter members of our society. Uh, this year we have adopted new bylaws, or, well, completed our bylaws, so to speak, and, and have a... Uh, have updated all things that, to that uh, effect. Now this year going forward is uh, we're hoping that the, that everything is uh, on par as it usually is and and go going forward to collect our, our wood and everything. We're, uh, we're already lining up our source of our wood. We've already been in contact with it. It's gonna be the same source as we used last year and in, and in this coming year we'll, uh, we'll be even further ahead of what we have been in the past as far as preparation getting forward. So we're looking forward to another great year of the same caliber of event as, as we have in the past. Uh, <clears throat> so we, as I mentioned, we had our annual general meeting on September 18th. We select our new board. We had a director's meeting immediately following where we select our executive committee and began our fundraising. Uh, drive. Uh, also, coming up on our agenda, uh, uh, we would like to. I know there's a new district and council, new mayor and council coming in, and when that mayor and council is formed, we'd uh, of course love to have a liaison to uh, to report to or or to to keep in contact with the with the council. I don't know if that will change this year. And in, in the past, we've always had somebody to talk to directly within council. It's been a 
a great help as far as keeping that line of communication open and, and when we get closer to the event as well as to pulling everything off that needs to happen with such an event. Uh, so at this time I'd like to know if the Chamber of Council has any questions for our new board or anything like that or if there's uh, anything that uh, we can help you guys with as well. I know the, there's, a, there's a funny kind of a, a, a symbiotic relationship that we have within this event that the, that the district has everything after the event that they hold on to and it goes out and, and, and they, there's the maintenance and everything like that. Now with the Chainsaw Carbon Society being a body of its own, what we would like to do is help in any way that we can with council in uh, just uh, ideas about fundraising or, or anything that we're doing with the carvings. Because I know as we reach saturation in the town of the carvings that we have, I know we're at a, we're at a pretty high number of carvings, there's only so many places you can put them. You know, just as an example, one of the thoughts that we had is, is uh, maybe you know, partnering with the museum and putting in a carving graveyard of sorts where carvings that are too badly damaged or are no longer need to be maintained can go and we can have a walkway of, uh, and it's also a, a pull towards the museum, which is another, you know, another, but, but those type of relationships are things that we would like to help with going forward as, as just as that we are a society that is geared towards this carving championship solely and we have nothing but time to focus and put into that. So as far as this society goes, we'd like to help in any way that we can. And, and that means helping the district in, in things like that. And, and you know, maybe perchance, I know in the past we've tried to sell a few carvings. And, and again, with the carving society that is tied so intricately into the, into the carving world. Like, for example, our, 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 uh, our Car Chapman Carving Society page has f over 5,000 followers. So, and those 5,000 followers are tied to tens and thousands of other followers through different uh, carving uh, things that we're connected to within just the social media aspect. So when it comes to maybe selling off a few of those carvings or moving them in different ways, maybe that's something that we can also help with. I just wanted to, to put that out there as a, as a you know, this, is, this, is, this, this society is geared towards the carving championship in any way that we can help. So what we'd like to really you know, stress towards the mayor and council is that we're here to, to help with that. We realize we're an, an anonymous, autonomous society in a sense that we don't have a direct tie, but we, we have a direct tie in that you are our, 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 our golden sponsor, so to speak, and, and that the maintenance of the carving comes under the jurisdiction of the district. So going forward, we'd like to, you know, in any way we can help out. So if, uh, yeah, if uh, there's anything else that uh, the mayor and council would like to know, I'm more than open for any questions that you have. Do we have any questions from council? Okay, and one last one. Oh, you do have a question there? Yeah. We do. Um, I actually just had a question on the money that you're going to be receiving from the district. When do you guys plan on asking for that? Uh, so, so right now, uh, just as long as we know that it's going to be how it has been in the past, in, in that the district has, has held that money to a certain extent, that's, that's fine with us as long as we're on the docket for having it. And coming up very soon, what we're going to do, when I was mentioning the wood procurement earlier, what we'll do with our, with our wood supplier is give him a, uh, a down payment of about, I think it's a little over a third of the, the cost of the wood. That way he can start at the wood lot now, setting aside these you know, oversized logs, these, these number one cedars and, and stuff like that. The earlier that he can get to setting us aside, the better the quality of wood that we'll receive and it won't cost any more. But he needs the money to put down at the wood lot. And that is one of the reasons I'm here tonight, is just to let you know that coming up right away, we will be putting that down payment with the log supplier as part of our thing. So if those funds are already set aside and, and as they have been in the past, so that we get them when we need them. On the, on the delivery date of the actual wood, we pay off the balance, but there will be a, a stipend to pull before then to put as a down payment so that the wood can be procured over the period of the, over the, over the next nine months before the competition. I hope that answers your question. Yeah. 
I think it did. Now, let me turn to administration for clarification. Um, I've been under the opinion that council, the last time we discussed the funding, that council was pretty, was committed to an ongoing funding. Not that it can't change, but do we have to revisit this at this time? Not at, not today, but say next council, do we have to revisit this in order to confirm it, or how should we think of it? Usually each year during budget discussions, it's discussed then, and we're about to enter into budget discussions for this fall, so I would say in the next few weeks we'll probably be putting together grant and aids, all the grants and aid applications that we've received, and then council will make a decision. But council has consistently supported the Chainsaw Championship um, every year. Yeah. Anything else? Uh, the last thing I have there, Mr. Mayor, was uh, I do have tickets for that Halloween dance on October 27th at Mayor, Mayor and Council, if you like getting dressed up and coming out for a good time. <laughs> we'll be at the Horse Barns with a live band, Dark Horse. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Thank you very much for your presentation. Moving on to bylaws, the District of Chetwin Tax Exemption Bylaw number 1080, 2018, requires first, second, and third readings. I'll move first, second, and third reading. Thank you. We have it moved and second. Any discussion on? Hearing none. In favor? Opposed? Carried it. I have no regional district report. Uh, any of the councillors have reports to present tonight? I did submit a mayor's report. I'm not sure where it went. <laughs> It'll have to be included on the next one. I guess we didn't oh, receive you. it. All right, thanks. Maybe I submitted it too early. <laughs> All right, the mayor's report will come on the 15th with an additional, an addendum, I guess. Anything from administration? Nothing from administration. Okay, nothing to report tonight. So we're moving on then to correspondence. And we have a letter from the. I would make that motion that uh, council authorize a letter to be sent to the Ministry of Environment and copied to the District of Tumbler Ridge in support of the upgrades to the Gwillem Lake Park. Second. Discussion? In favor? Opposed? Carried. Well, let me just. Councilman Galbraith, the item that you just raised, what number was it? Um, it, it was DI1. one Correct. Just a minute here. Well, I'm going back to expand all. Um, oh, it's discussion items, yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, my problem was on this electronic device, it somehow it had hidden itself. I have now got it back out in my line of vision, and I am no longer confused. Okay. So, DI1, we have dealt with that. The next one is invitation from Northern Lights College, opening the new Trades Training Center. Second. 
Discussion? In favor? Votes carried. Email from Community Futures. I'd make that motion the council authorize the mayor alternate to attend the third annual South Peace B2B Expo in Dawson Creek, BC on October 17th. I would second that. Discussion? In favor? Opposed? Carried. And the last one, invitation from the University of Northern British Columbia, read the Doug Little Memorial. I'll make that recommendation that council authorize the mayor or alternate to attend the Doug Little Memorial Dinner and Lecture in Prince George, BC on November 1st, 2018. Discussion? Yeah, I have a question. Like, uh, what is that? Like, who is he? Like, is it something that we actually get something out of? Well, you might get something out of it if you would like to go as, a, as the alternate because I don't plan to go. No, I'm not. I'm just curious what it was like. It's, you can always get something out of most everything, but <laughs> I can't tell you what this one is, and I don't intend to go. In favor? Opposed? Carried. All right, the correspondence. Uh, anything from C1 to C8 that you wish to pull for action? C7? Uh, C7? C7. All right, then, I'd like a motion to receive one through six and eight. Second. Ever? Votes carried. C7. I, I just wanted to make sure the new application deadlines for asset management grants. Um, I'm sure staff is all over it, but that's, this is just a notice of it, but we're, we're, we're well aware of the new deadlines and we'll submit accordingly. Yes, so that's good. That was the only thing I had about it. All right. Thank you. And then us, would you move to receive eight? I uh, so move. In favor. Opposed. Carried. Information item one. Motion to receive. Second. In favor? Vote. Carried. And reports for action. Ratification of email poll resolution. I would make that recommendation that Council ratify the resolution adopted by email poll on September 7th, 2018. Second. <coughs> In favor? Vote. Carried. Travel authorization to Ottawa. I would second that. Do we have any discussion on that one? Yeah, I think it's important just to just to mention that uh, the, the the idea behind this is to obviously help protect caribou but also to have a good balance with uh, what we do and how we enjoy uh, the, the mountains and, and the resources that we have in the area. So I, I think that that's the main reason we want to go to Ottawa is to have these talks and be part of the conversation ahead of time before it comes to us and, all, and uh, we're trying to chase the eight ball and, and we're, we're behind the eight ball and we're trying to uh, uh, change things after decisions have already been made. So I think it's important that we uh, get ahead of this because it could really affect a uh, huge whether you're a hunter or a quarter or a snowmobiler and that really will affect our tourism in this area. And our industry definitely will affect industry our industry. Well. So uh, the potential is to have our entire way of life here seriously disrupted and our intent is if we can get this delegation with the uh, with Ottawa, particularly with the minister, with the cabinet, to present our points of view. And it won't be Chetland alone, it will be uh, in col collaboration with industry, with regional district, because it affects all of us. You know, anything that f affects our industry does affect 
the people who live here. And this is what we are very concerned about. In favor? Oops, carry. I should also add that at this point, we don't know if we'll even get a delegation. They may not give us time, but we're, we're trying. Nicholson Road water looping. I make that recommendation. The council authorized Nicholson Road water looping project in the industrial subdivision is awarded to IDL projects in 2018, be deferred to 2019 and the 2018 budget amount of 455,000 be included in the 2019 financial plan. I would second that. I'm sorry? I would second oh, that. Thank you. A, a question to administration on this. So uh, the 455,000 that's not being spent this year is simply carried forward, isn't it? That's correct. And it will be added to our capital budget for next year. In favor? Votes carried. And disposal of surplus. Second. Any discussion? I just have a question. Yes. Um, if we're disposing of this, are we replacing it with something? I'm sorry? If we're disposing of it, are we replacing it with something? Oh, that I don't know. Yeah, we did last year. Okay. So this is a replacement for a new truck. Okay, thank you. In favor? The vote is carried. Reports for information, building permit values. Make that recommendation that the report, report be received for information. Set. Set. In favor? The vote is carried. Public question period. You may ask questions on anything on the agenda. Hearing none, motion to adjourn. Second.